It's time for Recipe of the Day. I tell you all the time how much I love making soup on Monday so that I have it in the fridge for leftover lunches throughout the week, right? Well, if it's spring break where you are, then maybe you want a celebratory fun soup for dinner tonight that your kids are going to be excited to eat when they're home the next few days. And so this is a great soup for that. This is chicken enchilada soup. It's a Chili's copycat recipe. And I'm going to tell you, I'm obsessed with the Chili's chicken enchilada soup. I do this very very weird thing that gets me some odd looks from waiters and waitresses, other customers, whenever I'm at Chili's for lunch, which used to be a lot when my kids were younger because it was a place that they both really liked. So it was a good bet if we needed to eat lunch out. But anyhow, I would always order the tortilla chip soup and salad, like kind of like this bottomless thing, although I didn't really have more than one serving of it. I just really liked taking the tortilla chips and dipping them into the cheesy soup and then piling some of the lettuce and tomatoes onto there too. It kind of like deconstructed nachos. I loved it. I had it all the time. And now I make it at home quite often. We have after tea chips and salad with the soup. It's a really fun and tasty meal. Okay, so what is chicken enchilada soup? It is a Tex-Mex flavored soup that has chicken and cheese, canned tomatoes, some diced chilies. You can omit those if you don't want it spicy. And then there's two more ingredients that are really quintessential to this soup. They're really important. One is the enchilada sauce, and you can just use jarred salsa if you want for that. It's basically just a tomato-y kind of spiced up sauce. And then masa harina, that is corn flour. And you might know it from things like tamales. And it basically gives the soup this toasted corn flavor that's really hard to get in any other way. And so if you can get some masarita, they sell it at the grocery store with the flowers or in the ethnic food aisle. But you can also order it online. If you don't want to do that, while well, I'm telling you how to make the soup in a second, I'll tell you what you can use instead of the masarita. But that's pretty much what this soup is. I garnish it with tortilla chips and green onions, serve it with a salad, like I said. Wonderful. Okay, so what do you do? You're going to start by measuring some chicken stock into a large microwave safe bowl and that's going to the microwave for six minutes. Now I'm just going to say this is one of my 15 minute soups. It's ready from start to finish in under 15 minutes and we're using the microwave here to get the broth heating up while we do the other stuff so that when the other stuff on the stove is ready we can just pour that hot broth over top of it all and we've saved ourselves a lot of time. So that stock or broth is heating up in the microwave and then you get out your soup pot or Dutch oven. You're going to put it over medium heat, a little bit of oil and a chopped onion. Give that a stir. While the onion is sautéing, you're going to chop up a chicken breast into one half inch cubes. Now, I'm going to say you can instead use chicken thighs if you would like to, or you can use already cooked chicken breasts. This is a great place for pulled chicken leftovers, roast chicken leftovers. If you're going to use already cooked chicken, though, you would just add it towards the end of the recipe because it just needs to heat through. It doesn't need to cook. So if you're using already cooked chicken, you're going to just chop that up now and then set it aside for later. If you're using raw chicken, you're going to cut it into one half inch cubes, and then you're going to put it into the pot with the onion along with some cumin and some salt. Stir and then cover it. You want it to get white on all sides. Stirring occasionally will take about two minutes. While that chicken is cooking, you're going to chop up some green onion, open up a can of crushed tomatoes, open up some enchilada sauce, can of green chilies, which you need to drain. Then once that chicken is whitened all over, that's when you're going to add in the masa harina. So that's going to be half a cup of that masa harina. Give it a stir and then you're going to slowly stir in the hot stock from the microwave. Now, if you're not using the masa harina, instead, you can use crushed tortilla chips instead. You're going to crush up a whole half cup of them, and then you stir them into that chicken mixture and then add the broth just like you would with the masa harina. And what you're having happen here is that the little tortilla chips are going to soak up the liquid and kind of dissolve into the soup. That's going to give it that toasty corn flavor. It might not thicken it quite as well, but we're adding cheese into this soup anyhow, and that's going to thicken it lots. Okay, so once you've got that stock in there, you increase the heat up to high, and then you're going in with your canned crushed tomatoes, your canned enchilada sauce or salsa, the drained green chilies. And if you were using the already cooked chicken, that's when you would add it right now. Give it a stir, let it come up to a simmer, and then take it off the heat. And that's when you're stirring in some nice cheddar cheese, or you could use one of those Tex-Mex or Mexican blend cheeses. And that is it. You ladle it into soup bowls. You can garnish with a little bit more cheese, some tortilla chips, green onion. You could add other things, chopped tomatoes, avocado, serve it with a salad, 
so good. Okay, I'm going to put the link to this recipe into the show notes, or you can head to cookthestory.com slash ROTD and get it there. And I just want to remind you, if you have not subscribed to this show already, definitely go and do that. You can go to cookthestory.com slash ROTD, and you can subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts from there. And it would be great if you could also leave a rating and review. When you do that, head over to Apple Podcasts, leave a review, give it five stars, and that'll help other people know that it's there and know what they can expect and know that they're going to love this show too. Thank you so much for listening, subscribing, and for leaving those reviews. I really appreciate it. I'm Christine Pittman from cookthestory.com, thecookful.com, the all new chicken cookbook, and from this podcast recipe of the day. I hope you have a great day. Let's get cooking. (laughs) 